Well, as they say in the UK, it's raining cats and dogs outside, but that's okay because we're in here in the greenhouse. It's nice and dry, and I have with me a really fabulous plant that I want to tell you about. But you know, they say that the brain has the ability to connect memories with smell. And it's both very emotional and powerful. And certainly in my case, when I smell the fragrance that's in the air now, it's taking me back many years to my childhood in Ireland, when I used to walk on little country roads and there smell that wonderful, sweet, wafting fragrance of Lanisra persilinum, the honeysuckle that ran through all the hedges there. Because the parent of this very fine variety is that native European honeysuckle, Lanisra persilinum. This selection was developed by John Edmonds and Elizabeth Wilmer in Didley and Hertfordshire in England. It's a variety developed from that native European species. And what I want to say right at the very first is that this is not an invasive honeysuckle. Nothing to do with the terrible Japanese one that runs all through our woodlands. So you can plant this one in your garden and not have to worry about it being invasive. It's a plant that gets to about 8 to 10 foot climbs up an arbor, a fence, anywhere where you're able to provide supports for it to twine up with its stems. Then, starting in early summer, it'll start to produce these beautiful buds that then when they open, open up to these very pale yellow flowers that then as they go through and mature, deepen to golden color. And all the time are releasing the most fabulous fragrance which is just wonderful if you have it somewhere near a patio, a deck, an open window, somewhere where you're able to enjoy that wonderful fragrance as it wafts in the air. I can tell you that just right now as I'm standing here, the fragrance in the air is truly beautiful. What's also neat to tell you is that as you see from this plant here, it's continually producing lots of buds from inside the plant. That means that it will keep flowering literally from early summer all the way through to late summer. Now, a little trick with this, if you wanted to grow it, and you don't have to do this, but what I found out many years ago is that if you go through and gently trim it back after these flowers that are on the tips of the shoots begin to go over, you'll encourage it to be more compact, bushy, and produce even more young growth from inside the crown. So you can keep it extra compact and bushy if you desire. If you're too busy and you don't have time to do with that, don't worry, it's still going to flower, it's still going to be beautiful, and it's going to give you a really fantastic fragrance that you will remember for many years to come. So this is Lanisra Sensation, introduced by Proven Winners, and when you plant this in the garden, you can definitely create some wonderful, smelly memories. This is Lindisra sensation.